What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, guys, so it is finally time for us to go capture our legendary dogs, our legendary beasts, however you like to call them. Of course, I'm one of them old heads, so you know what? We're gonna be calling them the legendary dogs, okay? So, anywho, in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, they have made it easier for you to actually find these Pokemon. If you guys don't remember in Pokemon Crystal, both my walkthroughs, or in any kind of old version, Heart Gold or well, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it is fairly difficult to actually find these legendary dogs. Right here, like I said, it's been they made it so easy for you to actually track these Pokemon down. So all you need to do now is go straight to the map, and you will see that the legendary the legendary dogs are going to be close by. Now what you need to do is you actually have to go in and out of Mahogany Town or uh, Ecutech City in order for these dogs to come by and uh, be caught. This is usually the spot. Now as you guys can see, I have Snorlax. It is at level 50. Now I'm going to try something here because uh, maybe Snorlax can actually do it. Level 50, it does have a move which is, well, block. And I did equip it, equip it with a quick loss. So let's see how this will work. So we're gonna be going down right here to Route 37, and we're gonna be going into the Poke Gear. And as you guys can see, Entei is right there waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and find him. And let's see. Come on, where are you? Come on. I know you're here. Oh, wow, I had a repel. And nope, that's a Stantler. Ante is right here. So, there he is. Okay, so, as you guys can see, we didn't even try on this one. He just, he just happened to be right here. Now, there is a little something. You can block this Pokemon from, uh, from eventually going away, but it does have roar. You just gotta make sure that you weaken it and all that stuff. We're gonna try block. As you guys can see, we are faster than this Pokemon, so now it can no longer escape. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to just try and weaken this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Quick Claw works again. And bam. Yes, we're weakening this Pokemon. And wow, oh my god. It almost fainted. And Entei is now weak enough to actually try and capture. Holy crap. Okay, so this is going to be difficult because, let's see, it's not necessarily... Yeah, it's not necessarily at the the kind of stuff that we want to, uh, the leveling it wants to be at, but it throws a roar. So as you guys can see, it is now weak. We can actually find it still at the same, uh, well, at the same, what was it called, uh, the same HP. So we're going to go back up and down, and we're going to see where we can actually find these Pokemon. As you guys can see, uh, Entei is still roaming around. We're going to find them, and we're going to try and capture them, so... Here we go again, round 37, and yes, he's still hovering around. He does not want to get caught. So, let's see, he already knows what's going to happen, so let's go right ahead and back into the Poke Gear, and we got both Pokemon close by right here. Okay, so, yes. It's kind of ironic how these both, 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 both these Pokemon want to be found. And where are you? Not here? Okay, Spin Rack, come on, we don't want you. Nope, not right here. Stantler, you gotta, uh, you gotta leave me alone right here. So, let's see, let's see. Nope. And I, th I want to say like after the third attempt, it's gonna, it's probably gonna run away. Nope, it's still not here. So I think we're, yeah, we're not gonna be able to find this Pokemon. Now, the quickest way to actually locate him is if you have a Pokemon lower, a lower level, or an evil, le uh, even level as him. And you have a max repel. That would be that would take away the lower level Pokemon. So as you guys can see, yes, he has ran away. And uh, well, it looks like to me. Let's see. Okay, so he's back. All right, let's go ahead and try and find him for one last time before we we start really getting into this this whole thing. So let's see. Where are you? In fact, uh, you know what? That's not. Let's see. Poke gear, yeah, he's ran away. Okay, so it looks like to me we're gonna have to be uh, we're gonna be struggling a little. So I'll be right back with you when we find another legendary dog. Okay, so that didn't take so long. That took uh, like at least a second. And here we have Ante yet again, weak. 
And, uh, well, we got tank. And it's exerting pressure, so what we're gonna do now is gonna use block. And as you can see, Ante can no longer escape. And the biggest thing right here is its war attack. We need to find a way around that, especially with, like, you know, it being at 1 HP. And here comes a fire spin attack, and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Go with the dust ball. And there it is! We, oh, we just caught it! <laughs> so there it is, guys. We sped it up. <laughs> we caught Ente. So there it is, guys. We caught Ente, the volcano Pokemon. Volcanoes erupt when it barks. Unable to contain its sheer power, it races headlong around the land. Hmm, you don't say. Okay, so... Yeah, we, 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 we caught him just like that. That was lucky. Wow, I thought this was going to be a struggle, but never mind. Okay. Never mind. So the next Pokemon on our list is Raikou, or Raikou, or Raik... Whatever, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But yes, we're going to be finding this guy, so give me just a sec until I find him. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're, we're finding you. We are going to find you. All right, so Raikou, or Raikou again, and... Let's go right ahead and block this guy from doing some stuff, and, well, you can't escape. Let's go ahead and go with another Dust Ball. And, damn it, we are paralyzed. Really wish we could paralyze this Pokemon. God damn it. Okay, so let's go right ahead. This is, like, the 15th time. Let's go right ahead and throw a Dust Ball. Hopefully this captures this guy. Come on. Get in the ball. One, two... Oh, oh, yes! Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Jeebus. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay. Whew. Alrighty, so... I guess I'm lucky again. Probably. I don't even know. I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. Holy crud. Oh, my God. Okay, so... As you guys can see... Here is Raikou, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but the Thunder Pokemon. The rain clouds it carries let the fire, uh, fire thunderbolts at will. They say it is descended by lightning. And yes, I am going to be giving this guy a nickname, a nickname to piss many of you guys off who have been watching my original Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this again. Hold on just a sec. Uh, this. Let's go ahead and re-nickname this Pokemon. The way I know how to know, name it. Everybody say hello to Raikou. That's right. I do what I want. Alright, so we're gonna go to the third guy. Yes, we're gonna be going through the third guy in just a little bit. It is not roaming, so I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Agritech City. We have a bit of a business to take care of. Now, if you remember in episode 51, we have tracked down Suicune right in the middle of where Mount Mortar's... Well, one of Mount Mortar's caves is. Never even bothered to go in there, or never to bother to, like, you know, bug it or anything just because, well, shoot. We were in a, we were on a mission to try and find some, uh, some Tyrogues and all that stuff. So, what we need to do now is we have to go here, and look at that. Suicune is waiting for you, so what we need to do is get a cut. And look at this. Scyther cutting it. And what we gotta do now is Suicune is gonna take a notice at us, push us out of the way, and ironically enough, holy crud, you see, and he's like, Suicune, how brave it is, how refreshing it is, how beautiful it is, and how quickly it moves. Draven, you seem to be around where Suicune would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suicune is, be is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into myths, so I've heard many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop following you until I found out what you are after. You hear me? Yeah, this guy's a little nuts. So the next place we have to have, we actually have to go to is in the Kanto region. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Vermilion City, and as you can probably already tell, there's a big body of water. And what you need to do next is uh, you actually have to go straight to the pier where you will come out of the SSN and well look at this Suicune is just right there and you seen seriously that was so close I thought I would corner it by now by by now by ambushing it here but running on the water is beyond me still I'm starting to see a pattern Suicune prefers water 
that means... Sorry, Draven, I've got to go. Yeah, this guy knows exactly where this guy's going, so... Let's go right ahead and find Suicune. Let's, uh... Well, let's go ahead and fly, and as you guys probably can tell, I brought a team with me, just in case we face Suicune ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed it all the way over there, because, yeah, we're racing using... And here we are in the dreaded Route 15, all the way to 14, 13, and 12. You guys already know I hate this place. With a god dang passion. But thankfully, we've already beaten everybody. So what we need to do next is the go into the final portion of where Suicune might lie. Big bottle of water. Right here. This looks pretty nice. And would you look at that. Suicune is right there. And it is running away. Holy buckets. And you see it's just being like, Ugh. Draven, not again. I'll be there first next time. Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself. But I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water. Somewhere north. I don't know exactly where, yet. It will be just you and me. Who will uh, who will find it first? I challenge you. Okay. Um, what's wrong, Draven? To be honest, I'd like to keep the information myself. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he's he's telling me everything. So yeah, he is challenging me to a duel. So the next place we have to go to is a very simple place. I will be Wara right back with you guys, right when we're getting to that spot. Okay, guys. So here we are above Cerulean City, and the only place we know where there's water and there's a hill. Is right here near the sea cottage, and well, would you look at that? Suicune is waiting for us, and well, I'm gonna save the game just in case because, well, you know how things go right here. And well, let us get to Suicune, our lord and savior of Johto, and yes, Yusing is just like, <laughs> he's like, I'm no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead. Since I met you in, in the Bird Tower at Ecrotech City, I've sort of known that Suicune would choose you. Take a look at it. Suicune is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle with a worthy trainer to whom it w can entrust itself with. Oh, well. It is time, guys. It is finally time to capture the final legendary dog of the Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver series. And yeah, I wouldn't believe how easy it came to be. So, let's go right ahead and face Suicune itself. Here it is a battle against Suicune. Look at this Pokemon, Majestic AF. And we're gonna be going with Nessie just because, well, it has Body Slam. So let's go with the Body Slam. Hopefully we paralyze this guy. And no, it is not paralyzed. And wow, okay, so, <laughs> Yeah, we have to skip a few turns, so Rain Dance. Um, let's see, I kinda wanna use a different move. So we're wasting a few moves. Let's go right ahead with a special. And no mist. Let's go right ahead and use the guard spec just in case. And there it is. And. Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use the next defend just in case. And there we go. The mist has worn off. We have a little bit of speed over Suicune. So let's go right ahead and go with the body slam right here. And. Yes, it is paralyzed. That means we'll be able to capture this guy. So hooray for wasting turns and all that stuff. And well, Nessie, yes, it's not super effective. The rain has stopped, so now we just gotta weaken this Pokemon. And there we go. Alrighty. You did your job, Nessie. Okay. It is time. It is time to capture this god dang Pokemon. Alright, so we got plenty of dust balls. It's dark time, and well, it is time. And, nope, it doesn't want to get captured, so let's go right ahead and go with another Dust Ball. Nope, it doesn't want to get captured. And, here we go. Oh, nearly caught this guy, okay. He doesn't want to get captured. Nearly did it! Here we go. Damn it! Oh, almost got it. So it turns out that, you know, we might be able to capture this guy. Come on, Suicune, you want to be with us. Your, we your attacks are weak. Let's go with a timer ball, see what this does. And, oh, nearly caught this guy. And let's go again, timer ball, and nearly caught him. 
Oh, I was about to just stop that. Okay. There we go. And, oh, wow. I can't. Damn it. Come on. You know you want to be with us. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Damn it. Here we go. And, oh, nearly caught this guy. Okay, so we can go with a false swipe if we wanted to. Let's see. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. It's a risky situation. Ah, screw it. Let's go with another, another one. We got plenty of Ultra Balls here too, guys, so don't worry about it. We we, we stocked up, so let's go with an Ultra Ball. And no, it's not going to want to be captured right here. And damn it. Come on. Damn it. And it is shrouded in mystery. And oh, nearly caught this guy. Come on. Oh my god, come on. Damn it. Okay, you you are being a butt right now. And yeah, this guy, I'm throwing everything in the kitchen sink. Okay, so let's see. Damn it. Alright, come on. And Suicune is having his way with my Pokemon. It can only tank so much, so let's go right ahead and use a full restore onto Nessie. There we go, okay. You know what, let's go right ahead and do this. We got Scyther, this could be a risk. And yeah, it was a risk, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, let's go with Nessie. Alright, let's go right ahead and uh, try and capture this guy. So, let's go with an Ultra Ball. Come on. Alright, come on, goddamn you. And yes! <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, it took me quite a bit. This Pokemon did not want to get captured, I swear to God. Okay, so... There it is, guys. Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon. Yeah. Stubborn AF. So, as you guys can see... Said to be the embodiment of the North Winds, it can instantly purify filthy, murky water. I wish we would have had that right here. So, let's go right ahead and give this Pokemon the nickname it so needs. Yes, let's go right ahead and give this guy its nickname. Here we go. I bequeath to you the nickname Sweet Boom. That's right. Oh, wow. Not that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Sweet Boom. Let's go. It's a shame that we never really got to use this Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys to show all three all, all three legendary dogs. Anywho, before we leave, I completely forgot about this. You seem to be like Draven. You two are truly amazing. I have never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, Draven. And yes, I am throwing out the middle finger to you because you've been following us everywhere. Anywho, now I am going to go back to the Pokemon Center, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here are the three legendary dogs. Raikou, Suicune, or Suicboom, and Entei. As you guys can see, Raikou, Raikou, whatever his name is, the Impinch Nature, level 40. And, well, it is a very speedy Pokemon. I do not get how Snorlax was uh, able to be faster than this guy. It has a pretty good move, Spark, Reflect, Quick uh, quick Attack, and Roar. The next Pokemon on our list happens to be, let's see, Entei. As you guys can see, it has a calm nature, kind of finicky and all that crud. Fire type, pure fire type. And it does have Roar, Fire Spin, Stomp, and Flamethrower. And then the next Pokemon, the bane of our existence right here, Suicune, Suic Boom. This guy has a docile nature, thoroughly cunning. Yeah, thoroughly cunning to just piss me off and all that stuff and it is very defensive but does have some pretty good moves like rain dance gust roar beam and mist so yes guys there it is we have captured all of the legendary dogs and uh well i think the next episode is going to be a very interesting one because well yeah we're gonna be uh going up against uh some other legendary pokemon i really really don't want to do it but we kind of need to just to uh, move this whole walkthrough around and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to purchase some merch, it's right down below. Yes, I finally got a merch store and all that stuff. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode as we go up against another legendary Pokemon, whoever it may be. I'll see you guys.